Hey everyone, welcome back. This was a hotly requested topic and I'm happy to finally deliver it. Today I'm going to show you how to always kill your lich before it reaches level 5. In fact, outside of one scenario, I can always guarantee you that you can kill the lich by level 3. Only one possible outcome can make it level 4. Sound good? Awesome! A lot of people don't know how to actually use the Ul Requiem mod. Yes, it is a wild card and counts for any Requiem, but you can also use it to help you figure out what the order of the sequence is. In most cases, you should always be able to finish off the Lich in 3 stabs, sometimes even in 2. Honestly, you will always know in advance, and that's all you need. So how do we do this? Well, let's take a closer look at our Parazon. So, you always, always, always want to put Ul in slot 1 at the start when you start a new Lich. This is because it counts as an automatic successful stab. We want to be able to guess the second position Requiem mod as soon as possible, because if we get that right, well, the run got so much easier. You can only check the positions of Requiem mods in succession if you guess the previous one right, so having a chance to figure out the second one immediately is huge. Speaking of that, when you start off, the other two mods are irrelevant. Throw on whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Just make sure it is filled, in case you actually guess correctly. The odds are 1 in 56 if you use Ul, so don't dwell on it too much. I'm going to go Ul, Jahu, and Riss. After that, go ahead and queue up a Lich mission. Oh wait, set it to co-op. This is important because you will be able to benefit off your teammates Lich stabs. Another thing I've noticed, which I'm not sure was true before the mainline update, is that if you join a mission in progress, you will retroactively get all the stabs the team has already performed in the mission before you load it in. You can see here how my ring instantly already pre-filled an 8th even though nothing was around to be stabbed. Sometimes if you spawn in and a lich was already there and stabbed, which is rare for level 1, you'll instantly get the stabs from the lich itself and the dog that came along with it from the teammates, which is enough to instantly fill half of your first ring. Regardless, make sure you are picking quicker mission types, as the dog spawns seem to be associated with the total length expected somehow. The game mode overall is weighted towards lich stabbing, so sticking around to missions for longer times isn't always the best option. Basically, your goal here is to unveil your first Requiem mod ASAP. You don't want to stab your lich until you have that first Requiem. There's several reasons for this. First, the ring fills super fast now, and typically will be full in two missions or at absolute worst, three. It's unlikely your Lich will spawn in your first two missions anyways, but keep this in mind. Making educated guesses on the Lich saves more time in the long run than blindly guessing your first stab if you have no Requiems unveiled. If your Lich does spawn before you get your first Requiem, I would strongly suggest just downing it three times to let it flee without stabbing it. This will preserve its current anger meter and let you keep the murmurs you obtained from that mission while keeping it at level 1. This is honestly a pretty rare occurrence, but you'll thank me in the long run. After that stint, my first Murmur that unveiled was Vohm. Cool. So I'm going to be slotting Vohm in position 2 of my sequence. So you will always be slotting Ul, Unveiled, and a random Requiem after you finally unveil one Requiem mod. At this point, you see my Corpus Lich is at Furious, so it should spawn soon for my first stab. It took two missions for it to appear, and I'm finally going to stab her. Make sure you always stab the dog that spawns with the sister first, as this one will despawn if you stab the sister first. You'll see I got lucky here and it turns out Volm was in fact the second position. I'll explain alternative solutions later on if this isn't the case. But after this first stab, I don't want to stab my Lich again until I unveil the second Requiem mod. This should only take two more missions or so in co-op because, again, two missions is two to three dogs each, and your ring should already be two thirds to three quarters full or so after you stabbed your first Lich. Once you unveil the next Requiem mod, your Parazon page should look something like this on the bottom. This is what our Parazon page is now. The next mod unveiled happens to be Riss. Because we know Vohm is supposed to be second in this sequence, we can narrow down the final sequence to either being Ul, Vohm, Riss, or Riss, Vohm, Ul. This means we have a 50% chance to succeed on killing the Lich with our second stab, or guaranteed finish by the third stab, so you'll get a level 2 or level 3 finish. Ironically, in this specific scenario, as in, this is quite rare and won't happen often, I was already using Riss in my sequence as a third Requiem, and this sequence failed. So just this time in particular, we got lucky that the next unveiled mod was also our third mod that was already slotted, and was also the wrong position apparently. This usually doesn't happen. 
So this means I can already cut out the option of Ul Vom Riss. I know the final sequence this time is Riss Vom Ul. As I said, this usually won't happen. You will have to blindly pick one of these two orders to try. Basically, don't stab your Lich a second time until you have your second Requiem mod. So now I can just run more missions until my Lich spawns and I'll be able to finish it off as a level 2 Lich, this time with a combination of Riss, Volm, and Ul. But let's dial this back. The scenario only assumes that the Volm we unveiled at the start was correctly guessed as the second position as observed in this case. But what happens if our first stab shows Volm was incorrect for the second position? Well, this isn't useless information either. We now know that Volm must be in position 1 or 3. Once again, you don't want to stab your Lich a second time until you get the second Requiem. Let's say we unveiled the next Requiem mod, and like last time, it's Riss. So in this particular case, remember, we always want to keep Ul in position 1, so that we can always at least stab twice to test the second position. Unless we are certain of where the other two mods are, and we're going for the final stab sequence to kill our Lich completely. So this means we will put Ul in slot 1 now, and Riss in slot 2, and Vom in position 3, because, well, we proved Vom was incorrect in this scenario. Now we can stab our Lich a second time, and there's three possible outcomes here. Case 1 is Riss is wrong, and we only got Ul correct. Case 2 is Riss is right, but Vom is wrong. And case 3 is Riss is right and Vom is right, meaning we finish the Lich instantly by guessing our second stab correctly. That case 3 finishes the fight, so I'm gonna ignore this one because that's not the point of this video. Let's look at case 1, where Riss is wrong and we only got Ul correct. Well, if Riss is wrong, we know Ul has to be position 2 because we already tested Volm and Riss in this position and neither of them worked. This means the correct sequence must be Riss Ul Volm or Volm Ul Riss. We've now spawned our Lich twice. You basically just try to make your Lich spawn again and you'll either get it on your third stab or fourth stab. It's coin flip odds and has to be one of these two. This is the only way you might end up with a level 4 Lich if your third stab fails. Now let's look at case 2 now, where Riss is right but Volm is wrong. Well, this is obvious. Ul is the wild card and the second position is correct, so the correct sequence has to be Volm Riss Ul since we already tested Ul Riss Volm right here. This means you will finish on a level 3 Lich. Cool. And that's it. This is how you use the Ul Requiem the best and avoid ever having to deal with a level 5 Lich and rarely even a level 4. This should make your labs much easier so you don't have to deal with the level scaling and massive DR of the higher level Liches. For a quick run over in TLDR, I'll sum it up here. Always play co-op, there will be other people stabbing Liches, which is free murmurs. Liches also spawn with their own bonus dogs that give an extra stab. Every teammate Lich that spawns is equivalent to 4 extra murmurs, 3 from the Lich and 1 from the dog. This is half of the first Requiem mod ring, or one quarter of the second ring. It's huge. You also retroactively get murmur progress from stabs before you load it in if you join a pre-existing session. This speeds up your grind considerably also. Now the important part. Don't stab your Lich the first time until you get your first Requiem unveil. With all the co-op stuff and retroactive murmur progress, this shouldn't be much of an issue. It is relatively uncommon for you to get the Lich to spawn before even filling your first Requiem ring. Otherwise, just shoot it three times and make it run without stabbing it. You want to preserve the anger meter. Once you unveil your first Requiem, always set that unveiled Requiem to position 2 and leave Ul in position 1. Now go Lich hunting and stab your Lich when it appears. You will most likely fail. By the time you extract after your first stab, the second Murmur ring should be nearly 3 quarters full. You don't want to stab your Lich a second time until you unveil that second Requiem mod. The next part assumes you have unveiled the second Requiem mod. If your first stab shows second position was correct, put the unveiled mod in third position and stab again. You will either succeed or fail. If you fail, then the correct sequence is reversing the first and third position swapped around. Now let's dial it back. If your first stab showed the second position was incorrect, go unveil the second mod as usual. Put this newly unveiled Requiem mod in position 2 and move the old mod to position 3. Now go stab your Lich. You might succeed completely and end here. Or position 3 was wrong. That means swap 1 and 3 and stab again to finish. Or maybe even position 2 was wrong and you got nowhere again. Well this means Ul must be in position 2. So now try the known mods in 1 and 3 or 3 and 1. It's random which one it is and this last scenario is the only one that might result in a level 4 Lich. <sighs> We're finally done. This is also the best way to use your Ul Requiem. To an extent, this strategy can also be applied to Grenier Liches, but everything is slower due to slower Murmur gain. 
The strategy holds the same though, and you still should be able to clear the Lich at level 2 or 3 and almost never 4. It won't ever reach 5. I hope this all helps you with your Corpus and Grenier Liching. This is just the easiest way to do your Liches. If you are not concerned about level 5 Liches though, then stab to your heart's content as you will probably progress slightly faster from stabbing your level 1 Lich instantly even without knowing any Requiem mods. But if you have issues killing Liches, this is the way to go. If this is your first time watching, feel free to leave like or better yet subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. 79.5% of you are not subscribed. I'm trying my best to get you new information out always as soon as possible, like I've done with covering the Tempestari and Sisters of Parvos updates. Stick around if you want to see interesting memes, builds, and guides on a nearly daily basis. I'm also preparing to get you new info out on the new war as more updates on it come out. You don't want to miss out on any of that, do you? That'll be it for this video, thank you all for watching, and see you all next time.